Amen. When it's all said and done, what is the bottom line? And that's what I entitled our time together today. What is the bottom line? And I thought I'll stick in that beautiful, most refreshing epistle that Paul wrote to the Galatian church. That's right. And I'm going right down to the last chapter, that is chapter 6 and verse 15 and 16. Friends, Paul spoke to the Galatian church about a lot of things. And we discussed them over the last couple of devotions about the lawlessness, the, the moving away so quickly from the faith and going back to idolatry and the things of the past coming through to um, haunt them again and they are shifting back to the old idol worship and rituals. And Paul chastises them very strongly. And as I flip the pages of the book of Galatians, I see many warnings and uh, st- in fact stern warnings. And to a certain extent that oh, those stern warnings are very very much um, relevant to our daily living today. Uh, yes, no matter what we can do, how we do it, and how we try in our own imaginations and our own interpretation of pleasing God, the bottom line is, and Paul so nicely sums this up in chapter 6, verse 11, he, he, he states, Notice what large letters I use as I write these closing words in my own handwriting. Friends, if it wasn't important, he wouldn't highlight it in the way he he wrote it with capital letters, large letters, whatever you want to call it. But verse 15 sums it all and Brady presents this bottom line. It doesn't matter whether we have been circumcised or not. What Paul is saying It doesn't matter what rituals we follow, how we follow it, as I said earlier. What we, it doesn't matter how many times a day we pray. It doesn't matter how much we give. And and we see that so evident today. People try to get their good works to try and buy a place and a way into heaven. They try to get the, the degrees and in, and, and influence and the know-how in worming their way up the so-called ladder, both in in the commercial world and even in ministry. Friends, all that means nothing. The bottom line is, as Paul says, what counts is whether we have been transformed into a new creation. And that can only be by accepting Jesus as our Lord and Savior and receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost, getting to have that second baptismal experience, receiving the Holy Spirit, having letting the Holy Spirit come and dwell inside of us and living and demonstrating the fruit of the Spirit. Friends, that is the bottom line. Paul sums it all up in verse 16. May God's peace and mercy be upon you all who live by this principle. They are the new people of God. Can you attach yourself to that class of people? Mighty God and Heavenly Father, we come in no other name to you, Daddy, but of your Son, Jesus Christ. So today, Dad, we pray that you would take our religiousness and turn it into a relationship with you. Thank you for the book of Galatians and certainly, Dad, this epistle, this letter has spoken into our lives. Again, Dad, we will just not be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Help us change our mindsets through the working of the Holy Spirit. And there's nothing we can do until the Holy Spirit is given preeminence in our lives. May we die to self 
die to flesh crucify this flesh in Jesus name and take on the new nature and become new creation in Jesus name amen indeed friends the bottom line is until we accept Jesus as our savior and have the indwelling of the holy spirit and be transformed into a new creation we can call ourselves the sons and daughters of god until next time this is pastor henry samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in jesus mighty name stay blessed